All right, everyone. So here's what we've got. Um, for our attempt to make the um, uranium trioxide, I've got two grams of ammonium diuranate that I prepared from um, the other four grams of uranyl nitrate that I had in solution that I never did anything with in the previous video. There's the rest of it. Isn't that pretty? Um, what we've got over here is 2.5 grams of um, ammonium diuranate that we are going to try to use to prepare urano-uranic oxide also known as triuranium oct oxide that's such a cumbersome word to say um, U308 um, to, in order to make uranium trioxide according to atomistry you have to heat this like I previously mentioned um, under 300 C Again, no idea how long it actually takes. Let's hope it's only a few hours at the most. Um, for To make ureno-uranic oxide, we are going to have to heat this up to 900 C, which I'm really hoping that my Mecker burner is up to the task. Um, I also wanted to show you guys this. This is what I got when I tried to make and um, filter and dry ammonium per uranate. Um, you saw where I made it in the last video. All I did was just make a slightly bigger batch of it, filter it, and dry it in the desiccator. It turned reddish. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. <laughs> it seemed to have only happened to um, that portion of the solid that completely and totally dried out. So maybe this is just an anhydrous form of it? I don't really know. It's very pretty though. It's going on the shelf as ammonium perurenate either way until I find out otherwise. So, <laughs> I need to make up a bigger batch of this stuff. I, I really would like to explore the perurenates more, um, but I need to get some ethanol, and I'd really like to get some stronger hydrogen peroxide, because this 3% stuff, always you, know, you always end up with so much liquid afterwards. It's such a pain in the ass. So anyway, I am going to cover this thing with foil, and then I'm going to put it in here. I'm just going to loosely cover it with foil, um, so that, you know no crap falls into it or anything like that. This one I'm going to leave covered. Um, I, I don't know. I might take the cover off. We'll, we'll, we'll see how this all goes. Here goes nothing. Okay, I think I am going to go ahead and put the lid on this just so it can get good and hot. I will come back when I have something to report. Alright, we've had this going for a few minutes here. Let's take a look. Oh, wow. It's glowing red hot. And it has turned black. With reddish tinges around it. Okay. I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> Well, we will just let it keep doing its thing. Um, I mean, if it's glowing red hot, it looks like it's getting close to the right temperature. I hope. Close-ish. Of course, I have no way of knowing just how hot that really is getting. All right, everyone. Our cake has been in the oven for 30 minutes. Let's take it out and see what it looks like. Yeah, that fucker is hot. Okay. Alright. There we go. Oh, it turned kind of reddish. 
I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it go through one more cycle, and we'll see if its appearance changes any more. I mean, if not, we will give it a try and see if it tests like our you know product should. All right, everyone, time to check on our uranouranic oxide and see how it's doing. Don't you tip over. Hey, B, fuck off. Okay. Looking good. Definitely looks different than the other stuff. And my God, it even has a slightly greenish tinge. Holy sheep shit. I do believe this shit is working, people. Ha! It might even be done already. I'm going to put it on here for just a little while longer. Um... We'll let it sit on here for another 15 minutes or so. Maybe, I don't know. No, we're going to let it go for another 30, just like the um, uranium trioxide. And then we will come back and check on it again. Oh, it's so great. It looks like it's actually happening. Okay, everybody. As far as I can tell, this is it. And it worked. Um, the color on the uranium trioxide doesn't look exactly like the color I saw on pictures of it on the internet. Um, but it's not terribly far off either. And, um, I mean, we, I'll need to confirm it by, exper you know, future experimentation. But I think that this is either it or we are close to it. It may need to be calcine for longer. And what I'm going to do is grind this up and, um keep it going in here um, for a while longer and I'll make sure to give you guys an update I'll either put it in the comments or in the next video um, to let you know you know exactly how that all turned out but I mean if this isn't it if we are well on our way to it and we can feel pretty damn confident that our method of producing it works now this is our um, green oxide of uranium, the um, ureno-uranic oxide, and as you can see, that worked marvelously. That was beautiful. Um, it's not completely pure. Again, this one also looks like it could use some more time um, being calcined, but once again, I mean, it looks like, you know, well, here even much more so, we're on the right track and that, you know, this is the viable way of producing these things. So, um, I am going to go ahead and end the video there with two apparent successes. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe, comment, share the video far and wide. And until the next one, y'all, I will see you later. God damn it, that is so fucking cool. I, just, I can't believe it worked. That's so fucking great. That's so great. Oh, it's alive. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. Oh, in the name of God.